Is this the end to any more ash cloud disruption? Andy Harrison, chief executive of EasyJet, certainly thinks so. If we can get hundreds of aeroplanes fitted with these ra ash radars, it means the authorities will have real-time, accurate maps of how much ash there is in the atmosphere. And EasyJet will be the first to trial what's being called a weather radar for ash. It uses infrared technology to send images, which means pilots can avoid ash clouds. Dr Fred Prater designed the system. Volcanic ash um, like this is um, made of really tiny silicate particles and when that's in front of the, the cameras then we get more red than blue. So we have a very simple binary test where we can tell whether or not we have ash in front of the cameras. It's all to avoid the chaos for passengers, an inconvenience for them, a financial disaster for airlines. EasyJet plans to spend £1 million on developing the system. The ash cloud cost the company something up to £75 million.